Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to go ahead and do a quick little video, first impression swatches of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip, um, Juicy Lip and Lip Plumps that I picked up from QVC. Uh, these came in a set of nine uh, along with some lip creams. So we're just gonna go over these really quick shades swatches kind of first impressions because i'm not familiar with this formula this is also the second time i try to film this video um yeah not super fun so uh the first difference i wanted to show you guys were the lip creams are a kind of like a twist up formula which i'll show you guys and the lip plumps and juicy lips have this uh, clicking mechanism at the end. Not a super big fan of that, but looks like uh, because of the emollients of the this particular formula, it would be impossible to put it in a you know screw up, screw down kind of mechanism. So I'm gonna start off with the just the original juicy lip and i'm gonna start from lightest to darkest let's go ahead and start off with the color rose and as you can see this is what it looks like in the bullets basically like a stick form lip gloss situation and then when you click it up, the product starts to come out. And my lips have been so dry the past couple of months. I've tried lots of things, but I'm not used to the temperatures being so low here and so dry my lips are cracking every other day so here is rose it's a beautiful um soft nude pink and as you can see it literally looks like you applied some lip gloss uh, i am swatching this on the back of my hand for you guys you do um, have to clean the side of the bullet every time you use this. But here it is swatched on the back of my hand. So it is that like a clear like lip gloss edition. It does get dirty around the bullet. And so you do have to wipe that down every time you use it, which I'm already finding to be a little bit annoying. So that's already the first con. However, the formula feels very emollient and it feels nice. And it has kind of like a coconut taste to it. So if you don't like that, I can't really smell anything, but that's what it kind of tastes like to me. This one is Lily. And you can see that swatched on the back of my hand. This is more of a brown color. And let's go ahead and try this one on the lips. Here we have Lily. You can wear these alone or on top of maybe like a liquid lip is really how I like to pair my glosses anyway. Or a lips or matte lipstick. So this color is really nice and the last juicy lip in this particular collection is going to be Peony. Let's go ahead and swatch this really quick. And it is a beautiful soft brighter pink and it is much more opaque than the other two shades. Here we have Peony. And it is a much more opaque, brighter pink. Um, so the juicy lip is kind of like, a, it feels just like a gloss. Um, you do have to 
blot so when you apply you kind of like have to because it will start to like stick create those weird you guys know what i'm talking about those weird glossy clumps um now let's go ahead and move on to the lip plumps we've got three here i've got poppy mixed berries and forget me not so the lightest one here is going to be forget me not so let's go ahead and start with that this also has the clicking formula the same as the juicy lip except that the plumper is in a rose gold packaging and your juicy lip is in a pink um pinky light ballerina pink packaging and then we've got the rose gold as the lip plump all right let's go ahead and try these on all right so here we have forget me not which is i think a uh rose with a little bit of a um slight mauve undertone and these have that same coconut type of um taste to it this is a swatch but um these are minty and obviously because that's kind of like the plumping effect now if i can compare these to the boxum lip glosses that are also plumping the buxom ones are much more intense in mint than the than these these are a soft mint where honestly you can barely feel it so if you're sensitive to that intense mintiness from a lip plump uh, and you want something a little bit milder i think you may like um this one let's go ahead and move on to the next shade which is going to be uh, mixed berries so here we have mixed berries i did pick up this set of nine tart um maracuja lip creams lip plumps and just the juicy lip this is you get three of each formula i picked them up uh and Q on qvc at a discounted price and i did get free shipping here is mixed berries and here's forget me not um i would wait for um a free shipping kind of deal which they run often um because i think that's your best deal there and let's go ahead and move on to the last uh, lip plump sh lip plump shade in poppy here we have poppy and this is definitely <laughs> packs a punch uh and it does remind me of poppies so i think they did a really good job with this color um Again, I just wanted to piggyback on the set on QVC. I have the QVC app and I've been shopping at QVC for like over 10 years. They, their sets, a lot of their sets are exclusive to them. And this, uh, t this particular tart set is exclusive to them and I haven't seen it anywhere else. So it comes with these cute, three cute little bags that in the back say to and from and you can split these up in threes um, each bag holds three lip products and you can give someone one of each formula or maybe if you really know that they like a particular formula you can give them three of the, the same formula but i just think think that that's a really nice gift idea for birthday for valentine's day is coming up but you guys know that that was this set was part of like my holiday uh, gift ideas uh, for others. And so it's something that you can split up and make multiple gifts out of. And because the little baggies are not holiday inspired, I think that th it makes this a more versatile gift. All right, now let's move on to the lip creams, which come in this like brushed, frosted kind of um, metal in a rose tone. And so these two, the lip 
the Juicy Lip and the Lip Cream both are the same color except this one is like glossy and this one is this metal packaging that's frosted. The Juicy Lip comes in a plastic packaging. So this as well is like a lipstick form so you twist this up and down um, which I prefer. And we'll get into my overall thoughts at the end, kind of to touch upon uh, each formula. Now, in the in the lip creams, you get shade Cranberry, which is the deepest. You get Mauve. And I think this is Iris. I can barely read it. Yes, Iris. So let's go ahead and start off with um, Mauve, which I think is going to be the lightest, but we'll see. So here we have mauve, which is really pretty. It is a true mauve. And I am trying to get the last little bit of sunlight that is left to film this video because it has become close to impossible to film this for you guys. And I want to get it up because, you know, while this set is still available, so here we have a swatch of the mauve. And I think it's a beautiful color. Um, it is kind of true mauve. I think they did a really good job with this shade. Let's go ahead and move on to Iris. So here we have Iris uh, next to mauve. Yeah, this one right here. They are fairly similar, but I feel like Iris has more of a purpley, undertone i really like this shade i think this is one of my favorite shades out of all nine colors and i don't know about you but i really like the name i think it's very unique um i've never heard of a lipstick in the name iris so i like it um it does feel like a true lip cream um so you know kind of like a creamy lipstick it feels very comfortable on the lips and this one doesn't have that coconut kind of taste that the other two formulas that we just tried on had. So let's go ahead and move on to the very final color in Cranberry, which is actually the deepest shade out of all nine. All right, so here we have Cranberry. And as you can see, it does look like cranberry sauce. So I think that they really did a good job with this color. Um, as you can see, it is just a typical uh, lipstick bullet. And basically, this feels exactly like a lipstick, like a creamy lipstick. But I think to Tarte stuck with the kind of theme of this line because these lipsticks are not extremely opaque. They uh, take a little bit to build up. Uh, so you can you have the option to have this look like a light wash of color or building it up to be more opaque like what I have on my lips. And I think it's very cohesive the way that they did that. Let's go ahead and um, talk about my overall thoughts. So I think my first impressions is out of these three different formulas i like the juicy um the juicy lip effect uh the most because i i don't think i've ever had a gloss come in a stick form which is different for me um so i like the formula itself i think it's cool um and it does feel very nice and moisturizing on the lips i feel like it is a little bit thicker and denser than a typical lip gloss. So if that's not something that you like, do keep in mind that that's what you'll be getting with the lip plump and the juicy lip. My pet peeve though, um, and like I said, this is the second time I filmed this video. So I'm gonna tell you right now. My pet peeve is the fact that every time that you use these, you gotta clean the outside of the bullet because the formula is so emollient that it kind of like spreads around the tube and you don't want to have a hot mess because you're sticking these in your purse and you don't want your purse to get dirty 
The other thing I'm not a super fan of is the clicking mechanism. Uh, because you don't have control over like how much product comes out. Um, granted, a little bit comes out at a time, which is really good. So this was very well thought out. So it's not like your typical clicking formula where the product just keeps coming out. Every time you click it, the product does come out very like minimal. So it'll take you a while to figure out how many clicks is the right for your lip size. Um, mine is about three uh, to four clicks, depending on how dry my lips are. Um, the other thing you should note about this is because it's a gloss and it comes in this type of packaging, if you're dealing with darker shades that are darker than your skin tone, it is very difficult to be precise with this type of formula because it's very emollient. Uh, so you, when you press it onto the lip to apply it, it kind of like melts, you know, which is a nice, you know, it does feel good, but you are going to be, have to be very careful with darker colors, uh, because they're going to be, it, it, it's going to become a little bit difficult to do any kind of precise application. So I would recommend that if you want to dig into those deeper shades, kind of go in with a lip liner that's going to set a boundary for you and then color within the lines, <laughs> you know? All right. And the, the cream formula I love because I don't know about you, but I have a weird like love affiliation with cigarette like lipsticks those lipsticks that are like a cigarette form which is long and thin i love them i don't know what it is it gives me serious like um 70s 80s vibes um you know i also love those portraits of women back in the day that had their cigarette on like a cigarette holder those long things um you guys know the villain Corella Deville she used to carry one of those around everywhere and I used to think that that was the coolest thing I mean I was never in my in my teens in my rebellious years did I um want to risk getting lung cancer um or being addicted to something just to hold an accessory <laughs> for a cigarette uh but i always thought it was very cool and it looked very chic and so when i see lipsticks like this that's what it reminds me of again the explanation no one asked for but we're here i do love that it is a typical twist up twist down formula i have full control over how much comes up and you know and how much i need i don't have to clean the bullet it's just very clean the packaging for being a high-end um brand i'm not gonna lie the packaging is substantial uh this is the kind of packaging i would think that like a luxury brand would use it is comes in a metal packaging it's weighty it's very sturdy and what I mean by that is when I click on this top, this top is not wiggling around. Um, when I, this piece right here, sturdy, not wiggling around. When I twist up my product, my actual bullet lipstick is not wiggling around. It's very firm and it's very sturdy. So that's what I mean by, um, the package the packaging being you know firm and really good um this is the kind of stuff that you expect and find in luxury brands and so i think that tart really knocked it out of the park with these lip creams i really like them and i think that if you want to get a chance to try all three formulas and not break the bank i think that qvc has the best price um, and I also think that you get really nice shades where you're not, you get, you have like two shades in here that are deep, but not too, too deep, you know? And I feel like the lighter nude shades that were picked, uh, in here have kind of an array of rose and mauve tones, which are usually tones that 
are good for a large amount of skin tones. Um, like I said, you can wear these alone or these two, the Juicy Lip and the Lip Plumps, on top of a liquid lip or a matte lipstick, or you can wear them alone. The lip creams though, because they are opaque, you know, and it is a, like a lipstick, these you would just wear alone. But I can totally see you pairing the lip creams with either one of these formulas, which I like this, like, like, like I said, Tarte's set for QVC was just very well thought out. So they gave you three lip creams so that you can actually enjoy this product on its own or combine them, which is attention to detail, guys, attention to detail. So if you see that I am filming in a new uh, space, this is the only room in my mom's house that had a little bit of light left, which is quickly, quickly leaving us. Um, but I'm here because I um, got the week um, off of work and I wanted to spend a day or two with her and the baby here and just, you know, hang out. You know, sometimes you just want to hang out with your mom. And so that's why my setup is a little bit different and my angle is a little bit different because I don't have my high desk. I'm, you're, there's chaos happening on the other side of this camera. But yeah, um, thankfully the second time I filmed this, it, I think this turned out good. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. I will do my best to answer them. I know Target has a couple of chart uh, sets, but they are much more expensive. I um, I was looking it up, and and QVC has the best the best price for this little set. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, videos that will be coming up next will be uh, my Holy Grail foundations. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna do a foundation roundup because I didn't try enough foundations, new foundations this year. I only tried like one or two and I did videos on those. Uh, but I'm gonna do a foundation video with uh, my Holy Grails, like my go-to, the ones that I always have in my collection no matter what. Um, I will be doing a what's in my uh, never full, uh, not what's in my bag, but like kind of like a wear and tear update. Someone requested that um, with one of my Louis Vuitton ba uh, bag videos. So I will be doing that as well. And I will be doing a work appropriate uh, fragrance uh, set or choices or, you know, somebody else uh, requested that. So I will be going through my fragrance collection and picking up the ones that I know that I use to go to work. And I will be sharing that with you guys. So those are videos that you should be uh, seeing coming up soon. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.